Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. You guys are doing well. I'm so excited to be here today and be sharing a couple projects with you featuring a sneak peek from the upcoming January to April mini catalog that's just coming up so quickly. We've been making so many Christmas projects lately that it's going to be fun to dive in and to make something a little bit different today. So thank you so much for hanging out with me here. And if you're watching the replay, I always appreciate that you take the time to do that as well. Um, yeah, so this is fun and exciting. So thanks for hanging out. My name is Laurie DeGroot from Laurie's and Marie Crafts, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Calgary, Alberta. And I love to come live every Thursday so that I can share fun projects, tips, techniques, ideas um, to help you take your paper crafting supplies and turn them into beautiful projects. I want you to be using your craft supplies. So um, today I've got two cards for you, like I said, and they're going to be turning into my current kit. Um, so I always offer a kit to go that when you place an order over $60 um, that I would love to offer you a kit um, to go. So um, I said thank you. I didn't say that. <laughs> um, so yeah, this will become a perennial lavender kit. And if you ever have any questions, you can feel free to uh, message me, send me a message, um, and find me at lariseandmariecrafts.ca. So this is my very first time on YouTube. So hopefully this is going to work and people can find me. And so I hope that goes well. So if you're here and find me, please um, comment. I would love to know that everything is working out all right. So hopefully it is. <laughs> okay, let's come down to my desk and we're gonna get creative here today. All right. So I'm just going to check something quickly here. Make sure everything's all right. Hopefully this is all good. Okay. So this is the perennial lavender designer series paper. So this is the sneak peek product from the upcoming catalog that I can't wait to share with you. So I'm going to show you all the patterns first, and then I've got a couple other fun products that we're going to use today. So it is beautiful. And I don't know about you guys, but I love lavender. Um, I grow lavender or I've been trying to grow lavender and I love having it in my garden and it's so pretty. And this paper is just amazing the way that it shows um, just like a painted look on these ones. And so there's all these lovely different patterns. And I'm gonna be showing you all the colors and some tips to how to use this paper. So you've got the kind of lavender side and then as always, you've got a more neutral side on the back so that you can um, help create your cards with some coordinating patterns. That's what's great about the DSP is that Stampin' Up! gives you coordinating patterns all ready to go. So here is the paper. And what I wanted to share first is that when you are um, first designing, maybe you're like wondering what colors to use. And so when you get your DSP, it always comes with this little white, um, thing here <laughs> and it tells you all the colors that are in there. So I thought that I would show you all the colors and then you can see all the different purples and the greens that you might not even know are in this one. I just found this one in particular. It was hard to tell what all the different colors were. Sometimes it's more obvious, right? So we've got Pretty Peacock and Shaded Spruce are the greens in there. So it'd be fun to choose either one of those. I'm gonna be using Pretty Peacock today. Um, you're gonna see notes of Berry Burst, which are kind of fun. So I was thinking like, if you're not super into purple, um, then it'd be fun to pull out kind of the pink and the Berry Burst. And then you're not gonna believe all the different shades of purple that are in this paper. So you can totally just pick out your favorite. <laughs> so there's Blackberry Bliss, Fresh Freesia, you're gonna test all my purples here. Uh, Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather. Oh, that's that one. That's not a purple at all. Um, Orchid Oasis and Starry Sky. So these are two in colors that are retiring next year. And there's also Lost Lagoon. So that's with the greens, I forgot. So you've got those three coordinating. So I'm gonna be using Pretty Peacock Lost Lagoon. And then, um, you can kind of just choose whichever purple that you like the best. 
So they all look really good with it in different ways. So I just thought I'd share that. And these little pieces are a hint to the stamp set that I'm gonna be using. So I don't actually have the stamp set that goes with the paper. And that's okay. Sometimes you can love the paper and not get the coordinating stuff from the suite. And so what I wanna share is how you can put all sorts of different things together. So I'm gonna be show, showing off the Heartfelt Hexagon Bundle, which is in the new catalog, but is an early release. So it's available early. So, um, you can get this fun stamp set with this coordinating punch. And I love label punches. They're my favorite punches, especially when they're a cool shape like this and they've got these fun outline um, images to go with it. You can use it for so many things. Um, and Celebration is gonna have a stamp set that coordinates perfectly with this punch. And so you're gonna, this is a must have. You're gonna want it. It's so great, I promise. <laughs> and then when I saw the colors that were in that paper, I went through my stash and look at this amazing, I don't even know if I knew this was in the catalog until this paper was on sale in November. <laughs> this is called Soft Shimmer and it's in the annual catalog. So it's available now. And um, it comes in the perfect colors for what we're doing today. So there's Navy, there's Berry Burst, Fresh Freesia or Bubble Bath. Actually, this is probably a Bubble Bath. So that's a little lighter, but the Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock are perfect for our projects today. So I'm going to be showing off some of that too. So let's get to our first card. And I'm just going to start with a white card base. So it's just basic white, cut in half at five and a half, scored in half at four and a quarter. And I'm going to do it the landscape way here. And then I've just chosen one of the more neutral pieces of designer series paper that's going to create the backdrop. So, and I just cut this a normal mat size, which is five and a quarter by four inches. And we'll just go ahead and put that on with just my seal. Just gonna get it straight. Okay, and then I wanted to pick a coordinating pattern. So you can pick any of the patterns that you like. So I chose this one. So let me show you which one that is large here. So you can see, this is the one that was the full piece. So you really wanna, sometimes when it's a big busy pattern, maybe you wanna tone it down a bit. So I'm just gonna cut a smaller piece of it. So this piece is going to be three and a half by three and a quarter. So I've already got the three and a half and then I'm gonna cut it to three and a quarter. And then I want to match this piece just to help it pop off the card a bit. And I'm gonna use Lost Lagoon. So I've already cut this one and I've just made it an eighth of an inch larger. So it's three and five eighths by three and three eighths. And then we'll just put these together. So this is a nice simple layout. It's something that you can easily recreate um it shows you some of the colors that you can use together with this dsp and of course this will be my free card kit to go with a purchase for the next couple weeks and i'm just going to go ahead and put this right on my card and i tend to always put my things a little off center so if that drives you crazy <laughs> you can center it but i'm gonna put mine a little bit to the right like so and then i'm gonna grab some of that lovely shimmer so this is the Pretty Peacock, and I've just cut a half inch strip. And it's fun to use shimmer paper in like small doses like this, and it just adds like a little pop of interest onto your card. And then your paper will also last you a really long time. So I'm just gonna cut a little half inch, uh, three and a half inch piece there. And we'll put our seal on that. And I'm actually gonna put it off to the side like this. And then we're gonna get our sentiment together. So that's that. So for our sentiment, I'm gonna show you a simple technique, which maybe you've seen before. Um, but what I wanted to do is to create a mat for my sentiment, all using the same punch. So with the hexagon punch, I'm gonna first punch out a piece of Pretty Peacock. And then I want to be able to mat my white onto this. So I need to make it a little bit smaller. So I've got a strip of basic white here that I've cut to two and one eighths. And then I'm just gonna feed it through the punch. Instead of going the normal way, 
through here, you'll see the little slot there where it fits in. So you're just gonna feed it in there and just kind of make sure it's straight in the punch and then we'll just punch it out. And then I'm gonna flip it over so that I've got the other end. I'm gonna do the same thing and feed it through. And now you can essentially customize this to however big you want it to be. So it could be long like this, obviously you can do whatever you want. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and go all the way here to make a smaller piece. And I'm, you can see how far I'm going there. So I want it to be with about three quarters of an inch on the side there. And then it should hopefully fit right into there. So then you can get a perfect mat for your sentiment. So that's just a fun little tip. And with this um, stamp set, you've got all these great sentiments. And like I was saying, coming up soon. So celebration is January and February, which is always so much fun. Celebration for every $60 you purchase here in Canada, you get to choose a free item. So, so exciting. And one of them is a stamp set with all these great sentiments for so many great occasions and they'll fit perfectly with this punch. So you could get this bundle and then, I don't know if this is even $60, it's probably not, and some adhesive <laughs> or some gems or something fun. And then you could get the other stamp set for free. So I'm gonna use this stamp in Pretty Peacock and I'm gonna stamp right in the center there with sincere sympathy. And we're gonna put this right onto the pretty peacock. And I'm gonna use dimensionals to put this on, but first we do, let's add a few fun things. So you can add some twine or some ribbon, or whatever you have. I'm gonna cut about 12 inches of this linen thread, just cause it has that same natural look that this DSP has. And I'm just gonna fold it kind of in thirds back and forth like that. So it's kind of like a fake bow. And I wanna go kind of diagonal this way. So I just put a little adhesive on it and I want it to go from the top left to the bottom right. So it'll sit like that. And then I'll grab some dimensionals. And we can go ahead and put this on our card. And then there's one more fun gem to put on here. And then we've got our second card to make. So I'm just gonna overhang that a little bit. And you know what this card desperately wants us to use on it is the brush brass butterflies. <laughs> you can't have too many of these I promise you, they're so much fun. And in the online store, if you'll notice, there are new ones. Um, a friend bought some and I have them here. Let me show. Check out these new ones that are available in the online store that are birds and dragonflies. Oh, so cute. <laughs> so if you're not into butterflies, you could also get that or you could get both. And this is the first card. Let's just fold that in half there. And I just love these colors together. So pretty. All right, so let's get to our second one. And for this one, I'm going to use a crumb cake card base and fold it in half the same. And then I'm gonna have the same kind of matte DSP on the back. And this time I've chosen again, two coordinating patterns. So if you've got the DSP, then you're gonna just wanna choose your own favorite two coordinating patterns, right? So even the opposite way looks good, right? So everything matches so nice together. So I'm gonna use this purple on the back. So this is just cut to five and a quarter by four. And so we'll put this on first. So, and then I'm gonna take this piece here 
and I'm gonna cut it to four and three quarters, which it already is, by three and a half. And you can just keep it whole like this if you want, but I'm actually, I'm gonna actually cut mine up. So I'm gonna cut to one and a quarter, and then one inch. So you actually end up with three strips, so you wanna keep them in order. And then we're gonna put them on our card like this with a little separation between them. So like I said, you can keep it solid if you want, but we're gonna separate them out. So we'll go ahead and put this on. And we'll just center that in there. Put our seal on the back. And if you don't have a new catalog, you can request one from me if you live in Canada, and I would love to pop one in the mail. Or if you wait until January 4th, you can look at them online as well. Okay, so we've got that. And now we can just do our little embellishments. So I wanted to use that amazing glimmer paper again. So let's show you. Let's show you the full sheet. So I've got the Lost Lagoon here. And I've just gone ahead and cut out a piece of it with this banner shape from the Stylish Shape Guys. So we're gonna show, it's just the prettiest paper. Like it is officially now a must have in your collection, right? It's so pretty. So I'm just trying to see if I put this on with dimensionals. Yes, I did. So let's go ahead and put some dimensionals on the back. And I'm at the end of my sheet here. So I'm just gonna cut up the edge pieces. And we can just go ahead and put this on. And I'm gonna put it a little to the left and above. I don't want it to line up with the seam. I want it to be a little higher. So we'll put that there. And then we need to stamp our sentiment. So we'll grab some DSP. And we need, we're gonna do the outline. So there's two choices. There's the one with the lines here and there's one that's just the dots. And I'm gonna use this one. And when it's something, when you get a squishy shape here with photopolymer, you wanna make sure that you lay it loose onto your paper and then pick it up with your block. If you try to get this on your block and try to get it perfect, you are always gonna like have a wonky shape. So just lay it loose and then you're gonna get the perfect shape. And I'm gonna stamp this in Lost Lagoon. Okay. And then remember all those fabulous purples that I showed you earlier. So you've got lots of choices. So remember, we've got all those purples. <laughs> so whichever one that you like, I decided to go with Starry Sky. I don't know about you. Did you forget about Starry Sky? Starry Sky? I kind of forgot about it. <laughs> and Orchid Oasis. They are great purples. They're in colors only until the end of April. And I kind of forgot about them. So I am going to use this. So I'm gonna use a different sentiment this time. This one says, sending you lots of love and hugs. So it's perfect, really, for any occasion. And then I'm going to lean over, center that in there. And then we can just go ahead and punch that out with our new favorite punch. Remember, this is your new favorite punch. <laughs> it looks so good with no effort. I love a good punch. All right, so we need a few more embellishments, right? So go through your stash, see what you have that matches. I've got this lovely Lost Lagoon ribbon that's in the annual catalog. So obviously this goes perfect with my card. And so I'm gonna cut about eight inches and I'm gonna just fold it in half and put it on. And cause I want it to stick well, I'm gonna use some tear and tape uh, to put that on to my card. So I'll just rip off a little piece and just kind of put it like this at an angle. Let's see, there we go. 
and you can add more if you need some more. I'm just going to fold it in half, kind of like that. Then we'll put this on with dimensionals, and I just want them kind of straight across. So, just put them in the center. Okay, get more there. And then I also noticed that I had some starry sky. I'm trying to say starry sky. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> all this alliteration. Starry sky twine. So there's Baker's twine in all the 2022 to 2024 in colors. And so this looks perfect with it. So I've got about 10 inches or so to tie a bow. I think I want it a little more even, <laughs> so we're going to do it again. Yes, I love this lavender paper, and I can't wait to make tags or, I don't know, something fun with it, put on presents. I mean, there's so many beautiful lavender presents you could buy. Put a lavender tag on it. I'm going to love this paper. So I just tied a bow, put a little glue dot, and then... I think I'm going to put mine kind of up here so that it rests up there. And then what are we missing? Butterflies, right? <laughs> You've got to have the butterflies. So I'm going to put a big one and a little one on. And then we'll fold this in half. And then I'll show you both cards. So this is going to be my perennial lavender card class to go. I can send as a gift when you place an order with my current host code. And so these are our two cards. And I've got more products to show over the week. So make sure you're on my blog or follow me on Instagram or Facebook, wherever you like to hang out. And um, you're going to see some more samples. I can't wait to share them all with you. And I hope that you love this product and the heartfelt hexagon bundle, which is available now. So I'm going to come back up. So it was available as an early release um, for, I want to say, World Card Making Day. And so you can already get it. So you can already get that bundle. You can get crafting with it um, when you're taking a break from all your Christmas crafting. If you're like me, you've got lots of Christmas projects on the go. Um, I still have to get my cards out. It's not too late, people. You can do this. So if you have any questions or I can give you a hand with anything, um, just like I said, you feel free to uh, message me or you can find all my information at larisamariecrafts.ca and thank you so much for hanging out with me and uh, for watching the replay if you're watching it later and I will be back next week with more sneak peeks from the new catalog and from celebration as well okay so I'll see you then bye-bye